Hey, this is Coach Brian Young with your Week 7 NFL Inside Tips for all you fantasy sports fans. All right, let's take a look at our first game. The Denver Broncos going to Indianapolis to take on the Indianapolis Colts. We know it's Peyton Manning's former team. We know Andrew Luck is coming off of a bad week. We also know that Robert Ursay kind of threw some flame or some kerosene onto the fire to kind of help motivate Peyton Manning to have a big game this week. Here's something that you really have to look at. The Denver Broncos defense has allowed more fantasy points for receivers than any other team all season on the road. Look for that trend to continue. Reggie Wayne is not going to drop balls like he did in San Diego. And I think Andrew Luck is not going to have another bad game like he did in San Diego as well. Peyton Manning, on the other hand, is now really motivated. I think Wes Welker is going to step up and have a great game as well. So if you've got Peyton Manning stardom, start Wes Welker. Make sure you get Reggie Wayne off the bench and go with Andrew Luck. How about the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys? So we know that Nick Foles is going to start this week for Michael Vick. Nick Foles is going to be fine within the offense because you know what? As long as he's got Deshaun Jackson and he's got Shady McCoy, he's got the offensive weapons he needs to be productive. In addition, the Cowboys defense, like every defense in the NFC East, is porous and it's weak. So the points are going to come. Both sides are going to be able to score and do well in this game. But I think the Eagles, they're playing at home. They should have enough to not only get the win, but rack up some big time fantasy points. How about the Vikings and the Giants? You say, why am I talking about a game really that's meaningless? Well, I think it's going to be a breakout game. Hey, if you have Brandon Jacobs of the Giants, you better start him this week. He had a great game last week against the Chicago Bears, and the Minnesota Vikings are notorious for statistically blowing it in games they should win. The Giants aren't going to stay overall season. Eli Manning should have another big game as well. What about on the other side with the Vikings? Josh Freeman is going to get the start this week. This is a hard one to pick. Josh Freeman has not been in sync. He's not been in camp with the Vikings. Remember, he's only been there a couple of weeks. He's never played a game with his new team. But just the incentive of having a new quarterback who is far more talented than Christian Ponder and better at this point in his career than Matt Castle may be enough to get guys like Greg Jennings the ball. I think Adrian Peterson coming off of that tragedy last week, he really survived it. It was tough for him. I'm sure that he's still mourning and grieving a bit, but Adrian Peterson may be motivated to have a bigger game. So if you've got AP, get him off the bench, get him in the game. You know what? Why not start Josh Freeman? You can't lose anything. He may have a great game as well. Hey, this is Coach Brian Young for Fantasy Sports Fans with your Week 7 NFL Inside Tips.